Welcome into the STEM Shed. Today, let's talk about this grow area. I know y'all have seen this on other videos, but I thought about it and I was like, oh, let's talk about what this setup looks like, um, give you an idea of how much it costs and what has worked, what hasn't worked, what I've liked and what I don't like. So, let's jump in. First, you should know, my first year growing flowers here on the farm, it was cool season flowers. And I did, I started all of my seeds in a spare bedroom. And it worked until it didn't work. So first reason it stopped working was the soil I was using had an infestation of gnats. Y'all, if you have not had them little gnats flying around, oh, lucky you. Um, they were everywhere. I had a treat with natural. I had all the, the little yellow sticky things everywhere. And then those gnats got into my house plants. I had to redo all of that soil. It was a nightmare. Um, the second thing, that, the reason why it stopped working was when my, when the seedlings get to a certain, um, age or height, I use fish emulsion to fertilize. Without thinking, I fertilized on a Friday, because that's what I do, fertilizer Friday. And left, went to work, came back, opened the door, and almost passed out. It was god awful. So we knew right then and there, this was short, short term. So fast forward, Mr. Daydream has this big shop, um, and he built bays in it. This bay doubles as um, storage. And look. Some of this crap just needs to go because I ain't looked at it in the three years we've been in this house. So, anyway. But we were able to clear up an area that I am able to use. So, I am extremely blessed in that space. So, we put this together. All right. First up, the shelving unit. This is four foot wide. It holds a lot. Y'all, it holds so much, especially if you're soil blocking. Um... This is 24 to 68. This is 160 seedlings in this one tray. I can fit um, probably five, six trays on here. Now, that's a lot of seedlings on one on one shelf. So this I bought off of that place on the internet that everybody shops. Um, paid less than $100 for it. I do like it. It has not given me any issues. It was easy to put together. Um, so yeah, this is very sturdy. Love it. I don't know how much they are now. Now remember, I bought this stuff several years ago. Um, the next thing up, lights. Y'all, light bulbs will make you crazy. Oh, I was just so overwhelmed by the choices and the decisions on freaking light bulbs. Um, so, which leads me to these. So these, are, these light bulbs are LEDs. They are 6,500. Um, they are the bluish ones. Uh, and I do like them. Not had any issues. Now look, I don't have anything to compare it to because I've not used anything else. But these have worked. Um, bought a box of 10, roughly around $100 from a home improvement store. Uh, not had any issues. I've not had to replace any either. And they do run 16 hours at a time. So... Um, this other, the housing, is a T8 um, shop light. It is a basic shop light. Now, some of you are like, well, how's that work? Because, and, and look, just as a disclaimer, Mr. Daydream gutted these to add the lights. Um, he is an electrician by trade. So that, that is a tremendous blessing in so many ways and he set up a timer so lights run just like I just said 16 hours on a timer heat mats are also on a timer so that let me talk to you about heat mats what I don't like this heat mat and I have two of them um, these are the large heat mats One, I find it's very hard um, for the temperature to regulate the temperature. <clears throat> and number two, there are so many cold spots in it. And I don't like it. In fact, I need to pull these off. I, I need to pull both of them off and just move them out. Um, yeah, not a fan. What I do like are these. Perfect size. I can actually fit four of these if I need to on each shelf. 
Um, this year I didn't use heat, I didn't use heat mats, but remember you only need the heat mats until you have germination. When you get like 50% of your seeds that have germinated, you can take them off the heat mat. They'll be fine. Um, so I liked the smaller ones versus these big ones. Next up, <laughs> y'all sometimes you just, I just wasn't thinking. Um, all of these lights have these chains that come with them, and so that's how they're hooked up to the shelf. That's how they're hanging. And the first year, as my seedlings would grow, I would move the lights. Mm -hmm. We'd move the actual lights. And I was like, God, this is a pain. And I saw somewhere a picture of somebody's um, setup, and they had empty boxes. And I was like, oh dummy <sighs> okay so flipped it real quick so now I do I move the seedlings and not the light um, like for instance and look I know this looks janky but it works Selfie. Mr. Daydream always has pieces of wood that are just He's because he, he's building stuff and they're just scraps. So I keep a milk um, crate in here and I throw some in there and I just move it and use them as I need it. I have used empty boxes. I have used bricks. I have used empty containers. Um, got anything that that give me the height I need. Um, so that that is what has worked for me. Um, you know the goal is to get a greenhouse built and then start all these seedlings in the greenhouse so but for now this is what's worked i've used it for multiple seasons and i have flowers so uh other two things that i use quite a bit of that i'll share real quick these came from the dollar store they are styrofoam like meat trays um this one if you are soil blocking will hold um two soil blocks which is 40 seedlings this one holds three soil blocks which is 60 so I do love those you know I love these trays I use these all the time I wanted to order some more and they are currently unavailable <clears throat> I also love these um, cafeteria trays I got these at a um, restaurant supply house so oh and if you notice on these big trays instead of having the um, saran wrap which the plastic wrap it's not saran it is plastic wrap from the dollar store I also use these yep they're the pizza things um, I actually got these online for pennies and I just stick them in there and that way it also it gives it a little dome so it helps with the humidity um, but those are just some of the things I will say probably and and y'all this was three and a half years ago when I did the lights um, and the shelving I'm gonna say this and the heat mats I'm gonna say this is probably roughly around five hundred dollars yeah five hundred dollars but okay so let's break this down though this is for both of them the four foot and the three foot that is for the shelving itself the housing for the lights the bulbs the timer the heat mat and that's for two complete setups so and I still have bulbs left um, that if anything happens I need to replace I don't have to go buy those right now so that is including um, those extra bulbs uh, so still a lot of money up front but then if I start breaking it down over the seasons right so if I've done five seasons of growing on here it's like a hundred bucks a season y'all this should last me a while like I should still be having this in a couple of years um, there's no reason why it should not last um, so that's kind of what it that's how I'm gonna look at it the other thing is as y'all know I've talked about this before here on the forum Ugh, a mosquito um, we have talked about we set a budget at zero and we try to stay as close to it as possible possible that is our philosophy it may not work for everyone but it's what we say 
that keeps me in the mindset too of being more mindful when I'm looking to purchase things. So it is why you will hear me talk about the thrift store, which I'll have to take y'all next time I go to the thrift store. Um, Habitat for Humanity stores. We have a salvage store he, again here that I've talked about before. Um, Facebook Marketplace, like those places to look secondhand um, before I jump in and spend money on something brand new. Now, I'm not saying I don't buy brand new things. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is my first choice, if I can buy it used and in good condition, that's where I'm going. Um, you know, I, and I, I need to get off my financial literacy soapbox, but I have seen and I've talked to other folks who just, they go into debt to do something that brings them so much joy and then it doesn't. And I'm like, yeah, see, no. I, I would not be able to sleep well at night um, if we were in debt doing this and it would take the joy away from it so again i know 500 dollars is a lot of money i'm not discounting that um i'm just hoping that <laughs> i can get several more years out of it that's what i'm saying so i will get off now that i've done a financial literacy rant let me get off that soapbox anyway um so if you have any questions on this um drop it in the comments and I will try to answer you to the best of my ability so friends hope you have a great week and until I see y'all again <laughs>